Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Spatial Disturbance by Ellison Brewery and Spirits is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So today we are going to try Spatial Disturbance. Thank you to Jamie and Patrick for picking this up. I just cracked it open. I screwed up on the intro and so I redid it. So I just opened it. This is a 8.5% ABV. Not sure about the IBUs as they are not listed on the can. Dogs are going crazy. Um, I th yeah, the 8.5 is, but the IBUs are not, uh, really the same kind of can. It's weird about the weird thing about this one is there's not a barcode on it and it doesn't say like drink fresh or drink out of the can or something like that on the bottom. Not that it's a big deal, but this is considered an Imperial slash double IPA. Head is kind of off-white, almost khaki-ish. All small bubbles, about a finger of head. Bubbles on the side, I would say, are half and half. Like half of them are spread apart like bubble wrap and half of them are like dish soap. I'm sure you guys can kind of see the color of this. This thing's scaring me. It is like a dirty muddy water colored very hazy can't see through it i do have some bubbles coming up i i'm hoping that's what they're going for this because i've never seen a double ipa this color it is weird looking let's go ahead and get a smell Like a tangerine orange kind of citrus fruitiness coming through there. I want to almost say like a plum or something along the lines of a darker fruit. Yeah, kind of a weird back small smell, but that tangerine orange citrus kind of... Um, sweet smell really stands out but yeah there's like a dark fruit like a plum some kind of fruit like that back there let's go ahead and get a drink very very smooth beer um very malty like over malted or over hopped, like an old hop kind of taste. It's almost like it's flat. I know it, I, I know it's in date. They got it from the brewery a week ago. I know it's good. It's just a very weird beer. Kind of in the back, you are getting a little sweet citrus, no bitterness at all. And then it's gone. And aftertaste is kind of like a sweet malt, like a older malt, kind of. I don't know what to think about this. Very drinkable beer. You can't taste that 8.5% ABV. I would have to go... 3.75 out of 5. It's nothing bad, but I'm not sure what they were trying to do. Um, I'm sure you guys will see this video before my other one, but my last homebrew that I made and that's kegging kind of tastes like this. Like that, that sweet malt and maybe too much hops. Weird beer. Yeah, that's the color coming out of the can. Yeah, not bad, but there's really not much in there. I think there's more in the smell than there is in the taste. So yeah, 3.75 out of 5. Let's see if somebody has a picture on Untap to make sure this is the correct color. 
10 of my friends have had it average 4.05 out of 5 a little over a thousand people have rated this average 3.95 out of 5 so i'm a little bit under them yeah people are saying orange i wanted to see some pictures I don't want to take too much time. There's, yeah, it looks like that. Okay. Hella tropical. I I get more malt. I almost was going to say like a juicy fruit kind of in the aftertaste after my mouth warms up. Yeah. I don't know if it was the ending. But... Yeah, now I am getting that tropical, like more juicy fruit than anything. I would probably have to go with a 4 out of 5. Maybe it was because I didn't roll the can. Um, but yeah, I did get more tropical, more juicy fruit out of that taste. Yeah, it must have all been settled to the bottom. In the, it's not in the front to me. In the front is still that kind of sweet malt. Then it goes back into a tiny bit of citrus, no bitterness. Then now I am getting that juicy fruit. So we've went both ways on this one. Obviously, make sure you roll your cans if you know it's kind of a New England style IPA. But yeah, I am getting more of that juicy fruit now. It's like a generic fruit. Yeah, it's not big though. It's still not big. It is a thinner body, very smooth though, but there's not a lot in there. But yeah, we'll go four out of five. So that pretty much puts me in line with everybody on here. <clears throat> yeah, if anything, I would say maybe it's over tropical, something like that, over juicy fruit kind of thing where it's muddling all those hops that's why i'm getting that older hop maybe there's too much hops in there too many hops in there but yeah definitely one to pick up and try i'm not sure the price as we got them excuse me we did not buy them so thank you for joining me and until next time happy brewing if you like this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and thumbs up and check out some of our other videos <laughs>